Hello, beloveds. It's your girl Clementine from Big Empress Energy. I'm sending you beautiful, bountiful blessings. Be open to receiving them. Mm, mm, mm. Me, amores, thank you so much for watching. I am Clementine Chloe. I read cards, energy, and people to fill. Oh, grrr. And this is your spirit tea, okay? Let's see what tea spirit about to spill for you, okay? What you need to know, what you need to hear right now, okay? Now, mira, if this message resonates with you, please comment. I love to read the comments, okay? You can also tip. I really appreciate the energy exchange or buy me a coffee. The link is in the bio, okay? Now, mira, if you want to go deep, deep, deep with me and get a reading, you could go to Big Empress Energy LLC do a con for a private reading and there you will see my beloved botanica where i sell my oils okay right now you can still cop the be love potion okay this is a potion um designed to vibrate at the frequency of love okay this is high vibe okay attracting the the love that you desire nourishing your self love okay all forms of love okay to be in a loving vibe mood you can add it to a bath you can put it on your skin okay so go check that out you know i stay with my blessings oil this oil is to bring in them beautiful bountiful blessings like hello this is all about alignment okay and aligning with your divine time okay i put that on every day you know that and them blessings keep rolling in you know that okay so go check that out right now all right my loves so let's get into hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on, hold on. i want to spray my love mist this brings in the good vibes okay this comes with the bundle all right, my loves. Mm, yes. Now, let's see what the spirit has to say to us. Okay, spirit. What's the tea, spirit? What is everyone watching this thing? So, you want to come and message the brothers of every single body watching this video. Okay, what, do, what does the point of you to know, spirit? Thank you so much for allowing me to come. Yes, boo boo. Okay, bear it all. I want you to get naked and look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself how beautiful you are. And release the past, okay? Release other people's projections and expectations. Oh, a bitch, okay? We got this star card in the reverse, okay? Now, this energy, okay, it's like in the reverse with the nine of wands. It's like we're shying away from the spotlight. It's like we don't feel comfortable um, receiving, okay? We don't feel comfortable expressing our creative gifts, okay? This is a um, SOS, SOS to your soul, all right, my love? That your soul needs nourishment. Your soul needs, um, you know, what is it? It's like cute, not cute, your soul. It needs some time, quality time, QT. Your soul needs some QT, okay? Um, with this void, okay? You could have been giving out your energy to so many mother effers out here that what you got for yourself, what's left in your reservoir, my love, okay? The star card's also connecting us with Aquarius energy, okay? And this energy is one of like extraterrestrial energy, okay? It's like, what is unique about you? What is out of this world about you? harnessing and focusing on that letting your freak fly fly i feel like there's a lot of fear okay a lot of fear surrounding you stepping into your individual power a lot of fear surrounding you being in the spotlight okay um fear about prioritizing yourself okay with this knight of wands you have all of these experiences that maybe um have like knocked you down okay and you're holding on to this and there's a lot of um there's a lot of blocks okay with this energy in terms of you're not letting anything in hell you're not even letting yourself in okay my love now let's see what other cards we have here we have the, i love that we have the eight to the nine of wands we actually have eight nine and ten okay so hello a nine ten that's talking about the steps okay we cannot rush from one to ten you got to take the steps transform reflect ascend that's the vibe okay um so with this eight of wands so we could be getting in a lot of messages today okay um some people will be getting opportunities that they've been waiting for now this could be creative opportunities um financial opportunities and opportunity for um self-care maybe this is you know going to therapy okay also i'm feeling some people needing to tend to legal issues okay we have the justice card here as well but 
you know what this is actually this is freaking crazy now this is crazy because i realize now we have eight nine ten and eleven okay and eleven's a master teacher number okay um so that's very interesting to me so it does seem like things could be coming full circle all right um the other energy i'm seeing here with this page of wands is like you don't need to be a professional okay you don't need to be a pro to go you don't need to be a pro to go just get started my love okay there seems to be the ending of a cycle okay the ending of a cycle in terms of fear or playing small all right and it's like, you know what, invigorated. Maybe there's something that has sparked your interest, sparked your attention that you're looking to pursue. And no, you don't have all the answers to it, but you don't need them. Where you're going, you don't need the answers. You just need an open mind and an open heart, okay? Ready to learn. With this Wheel of Fortune too, I feel like the challenge for you is to expand beneath your comfort zones, okay? The challenge is to expand and also claim in your soul destiny, okay? Your soul's purpose right here. With that justice card, that's how I'm seeing this almost as a karmic lesson, okay? But for some of you guys, fear around legal matters, okay? If you've been putting off anything legally, I would say to tend to it, it will be beneficial for you. So if you've been putting off a of divorce, you've been putting putting off um traffic tickets you've been putting off um anything that has to do with that okay your taxes all of that getting everything squared away um is very important to you okay now this is libra energy here as well and so now we have libra and aquarius and i'm i'm also feeling like this is asking to bring um balance okay bringing more balance by tending to yourself okay and I feel like that's who you have to be most loyal to because, you know, these hoes ain't loyal. Mm -mm. You know that. Um, Wheel of Fortune, though, I feel like change is hard, okay? Change is the challenge here. Change is the challenge. But it's like you, you don't need to go. You don't need to do anything, but you need to flow, okay? You need to go with the flow. You need to see where spirit is taking you. I'm seeing a lot of with this Wheel of Fortune, the Justice card at the right place at the right time okay and it's like let yourself shine okay especially here with the um with the eight of wands it's like a lot of messages here coming in um and a lot of changes so a lot of changes happening and it could be um relating to legal changes okay uh changes in terms of also stepping into your karmic birth rate um very and you know what spirit wants you to know that you're co-creating here we have the creator um as a hidden influence so you are creating you're co-creating with spirit okay um so and it starts with you it starts with you the star um and then we have the underworld as well so with that it's like a lot of fear a lot of fear in your subconscious um perhaps anxiety about doing something about starting something initiating something talking to someone getting something off your chest having that communication okay some of us okay some of this it is to definitely go and maybe have someone you can talk to to work through these skeletons in your closet to work through the anxiety and the fear okay it could be really a good time for you to do that because with the star cards all about self-healing and sometimes with healing self-healing we need healers okay so so mind that we also have the crone which we got yesterday okay i'm loving this okay some of us having grandmothers who are surrounding us and protecting us okay that crone is that old wise woman okay and they could be sending you signs and omens in the form of animals birds okay um memories also with this this energy it's like why wisen up okay see things um like don't like some some people are missing out on opportunities because they're scared okay that's the energy they're missing out on opportunities because they're scared they're scared of what could go wrong because of what has gone wrong and this is saying like what do you want to say um when you're older okay beloved is this like something you're going to be stunting your own growth okay um be wise because this is this is your time right now to really make the most of your life okay my love really though really though Damn, I could talk forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. We got um, soulmates, okay, my love, as a lo love. 
energy here okay so i feel like with this you need to know that you are your own first soul mate okay that means that you really have to fill your cup and make sure that you're good before you can give to others oh i love this we have maturity and like i and we have the chrome so really looking at things from a mature perspective what what do we want to say for our life when that time comes what do you want to say for your life what have you done okay we're waiting <laughs> maturity okay this is saying you can love yourself a little bit more by making mature decisions by having a mature mindset um not not letting immaturity not letting experiences from your childhood hold you back my love and then we have dating okay so some of that, that's funny as hell because maybe some of you guys too need to get on a dating app okay Met letting love into your life by maybe seeing other people all right this is for some of you maybe this is a this is that invitation to get that dating app okay or to have um communication with someone um and it could end up being you know that we're meeting someone that we have a soul connection with a karmic connection with and it's like change is coming out of nowhere almost ah, i love this ah, this is so exciting okay oh and you know what's so crazy we got spiritual maturity at the end of the deck now we have spiritual maturity maturity and the chrome so you better um you better um get it together okay this is a lot about having uh knowing the wise woman okay what or whatever you don't have to be a woman okay but the wise person okay inside of you um making mature decisions okay not letting fear hold you back because the wise woman knows they know nothing okay and the wise person knows that when that day come you ain't gonna be worried about the bullshit okay you're gonna be worried about why didn't you know why didn't i do that ish okay now for the animals we have camel this says trust that you have the resources to get through the challenges before you okay you have the resources you have the knowledge okay it's within you my love and we also have walrus remain vigilant about the current situation pay attention to signs and omens like i've been telling you omens coming through for you okay and let them dictate your choices that means like don't be too steadfast on something be open to receiving messages okay from your angels your guides your ancestors i have this book of answers i'm gonna open it think of a question i'm gonna give you an answer I love this answer. Upgrade in any way you can. You heard me? Upgrade in any way you can. That's level up, wisen up, boss up, mature up. The book is closed, my love. Mira, if this message resonated with you, please comment. I love to read the comments. Um, you can tip, all right, buy me a coffee. Link is in the bio, okay? Book a private reading with your girl at Big Empress Energy LLC.com. Loving you guys so much. Bye.